With Diana and Amanda. DNA. Hello, and welcome back to this week's episode where we are one click, two click, three. Here's more tips on organization with Diana and Amanda. She's so clever She's so every good. time. Yes. Hey, friend. Hey. Welcome to this very new week where we are not in the same clothes for a no, third week in a row. Not. That'd be weird. Yeah, that'd be so weird. It's what a coincidence <laughs> what that a we coincidence. wore the same outfits again. So we are here to talk about um, course organization. This is part three. So what I like to do when I design a course is um, to let students go on a little bit of like a walkabout, a scavenger hunt, to see if they can find uh, what I've hidden for them on the course. That's what I like to do. That sounds horrible. Okay, that was a joke. That was a joke. Yeah. I know my sense of humor is very dry. It's hard to tell sometimes. I, I get that feedback. But don't recommend um, that. Yeah, w- the feedback that we actually give faculty is um, you don't want to send your students on a scavenger hunt. You want to um, quickly, efficiently, and in a clean and well-organized way share content with them mm-hmm. and make it obvious for them where you want them to engage with the content um, coming back at you. So one way that you can do that is... Uh, Well, one way you can do it is by making sure you follow the two-click rule. So we talked in the last episodes about the start here, making it clear, they know where to click. We talked about um, using those clear labels. um, And the next step in that is to make sure that those links where they're actually clicking into those labels Mm -hmm. um, is not like seven clicks deep or more. Once Um, you've organized your course into modules, really ideally we want students to click module, and then yeah. instantly see what is the next thing that I'm going to do. Correct. Not module, course readings, week one readings, day two readings, Jones at all. That's a, that's too, that that's was more than two clicks if you followed me. Yeah, it's a lot. So they click on the module. And then if they have to click to watch the video or they have to click to read the reading, like that's two that's clicks. That's still two clicks. That's fine. Yeah, two clicks. Um, but avoid the click into module one and then click into week one and then click into day one and now you've got like the crazy amount of folders you're clicking to to get to something and we've all been in that google drive with all the folders and it's a bit much um Mm -mm. what was your cute reference you used earlier of something about a menu oh yeah if i go to a restaurant website and i'm looking for the menu Mm -hmm. by the time i've clicked around five times looking for the menu i we're going to burger king like yeah get your shoes get in the car we're just going to burger king cancel that request Get because some chicken I can't fries. find the menu. Mm-hmm. I got to try those still. Um, so another um, or, or a way that you can achieve this golden rule of two clicks is by using intuitive linking. Mm-hmm. What do we mean by that? Intuitive linking, another word, uh, hyperlinking. I want you to post to the discussion board this week. This word discussion board could be hyperlinked and when they click on that, it takes them to the discussion board. So again, it's clear, it's labeled Mm -hmm. and it makes sense. It's intuitive that, oh, the thing they're asking me to do, when I click here, it's gonna take me to that thing Mm -hmm. they're asking me to do. Um, And then that cuts down on the clicking into another folder or another page because it's just hype, those words Mm -hmm. are just hyperlinked on after you've done that one click. And it's totally okay if on your left navigation menu, I'm thinking about Blackboard and Canvas right now, but if if your left side navigation menu also has a separate standalone link to your discussion board area, totally fine. What we're Mm -hmm. suggesting is that in addition to that, within the module, if you're asking students to submit a discussion board post, that you go ahead and hyperlink the words discussion board so they don't have to go out of the module go to the left menu bar, find the discussion board area, click into the week two discussion board post. Mm -hmm. They can just get straight there, shortcut. Right, right. And that's a good point. Yeah, when you're thinking of a discussion board, there's more than one post in a discussion board. Mm -hmm. So when you say during week 16 and you're telling them go to the discussion board for this week and post, okay, so now I got to go click on discussion board. Then I got to scroll down and find week 16 and, and go to it. Yeah. Um, this takes you directly into that week's mm-hmm. discussion board, gets you there faster, which is what we want. We just yeah. want to get students to directly where we need them to be to do the thing we're asking of them very quickly and easily. Yeah. Intuitively, one might say. Yes. One might. In fact, one did say. <laughs> one did say that. Yes. When you organize the start here and then the modules, and we're talking of intuitive linking, um, think about that navigation where at the end of the start here, 
Um, on the left-hand side, they click Start Here. They have everything on that page related to that introductory materials. What do you want them to do next? You want them to start Module 1. Mm. So the last thing on that page I would recommend is that you say, now start Module 1. Mm. And that is hyperlinked to Module 1. So they're not clicking out of the Introduction Start Here area to go find Module 1. You're telling them what you want to do and you're giving them the link to go do it. Keeping them hooked. You're keeping them hooked. You're always directing them where you need them to go next and making it easy for them to get to it. Course organization and navigation, success. Success. Done. Brought to you by Amanda. And Diana. That's me. (laughs) I know we recommended two clicks for your courses, but to tune in next week, you only need one. This has been Midweek Motivation.